انا اسمي حنان احمد قطب I'm a professor of rheumatology and rehabilitation والنهارده هنتكلم على crystal induced arthropathies زي ما اسمهم بيقول uh, these are arthritis that are caused by uh, crystals the position of crystals gout and pseudo gout are the two most common crystal induced arthropathies this, this does not mean that they are the only ones في عندي calcium oxalate و uh, other arthropathies ممكن يبقوا caused by crystals Uh, ill importance betahum, they are debilitating illnesses in which there are recurrent episodes of pain and joint inflammation. The joint inflammation that be manifest as a uh, il patient be symptomatized by pain, uh, mumkin redness, mumkin hotness, uh, of course swelling, with limitation of range of movement, with functional deficit, yeah, you must the lower extremities, the patient is unable to walk. Uh, well, the signs is tenderness by mind when we put our hands or touch the joint. But the painful limitation of the range of movement were uh, detection of, arth- uh, of effusion. Uh, this uh, pain and joint inflammation are caused by the deposition of these crystals within the joint space and in the soft tissues around the joints. In crystal induced arthropathies, uh, we have a gout which is inflammation that is caused by the position of monosodium urate, monohydrate crystals, while pseudogout is due to the position of calcium pyrophosphate crystals, and therefore it is sometimes referred to as calcium pyrophosphate disease, or CPPD, and also known as chondrocalcinosis. So what is hyperuricemia? As the name indicates, it's elevation of a serum, uris- uh, serum uric acid, Well, uh, in order to uh, yeah, identify the normal range, the hyperuricemia uh, is a state of elevation of serum uric acid beyond the limit of solubility of the monosodium urate. And it is for males more than 7 mg per deciliter. Usually range is from 5 to 7 mg per deciliter, the real normal range for men. While for women, it's from 3.5 to 6 milligrams per deciliter. Uh, once this uh, uric acid becomes uh, insoluble, uh, it crystallizes and deposits in the form of urate crystals in the joints and the surrounding structures, as well as in the renal parenchyma. So uh, we find in the presentation is valuable. Uh, if it's deposited in the joints, it's, it causes, uh, or it may lead to gouty arthritis uh, with or without renal stones, and it also may be complicated by renal failure. Uh, hyperuricemia per se is asymptomatic. Uh, when it's in the absence of uh, arthritis or renal involvement, it is not a disease. By itself, hyperuricemia is not sufficient for the expression of gout, This means is in not all patients with hyperuricemia will develop gout. Uh, however, the duration and magnitude of hyperuricemia directly correlates with the likelihood of developing gouty arthritis. And the longer duration, the higher the level of the serum uric acid, uh, the patient is more likely to develop gouty arthritis. So what is gout? Gout is a metabolic disorder that results from the monosodium urate crystal deposition in tissues once it becomes supersaturated by the uric acid in the extracellular fluids. Gout, it's not only, uh, yani gout is not only one thing. Gout is a group of manifestations and it is mainly due to deposition of, uh, in various tissues, mainly uh, articular, yani in the side the joints, periarticular around the joints, How in soft tissues, like in the cartilage, in, uh, under the skin, sacchettini siani, how in the bones, or in the renal parenchyma. Uh, gout is usually a disease of men, with the young know, men are more affected than women, with the peak prevalence in the fourth and fifth decade, later in the calum telatinet, arbainet. At puberty, we find that the serum urate concentration in males Uh, rises from the childhood levels of 3.5 mg per deciliter to reach adult values of 5 to 7 mg per deciliter. Uh, however, females uh, remain at the childhood levels of 3.5 mg at puberty until even during adult life, where uh, 
until menopause, it rises عشان تبقى equivalent to the male levels. Uh, well, this is mainly due to the action of estrogen, which promotes the renal excretion of uric acid. So, uric acid is normally found in our bodies, in our bodies at, as it is a normal end product of the degradation of purine compounds. So, uh, it, there is endogenous synthesis of uric acid. It is released uh, due to the release of purine during synthesis, outbreak down of nucleic acid for formation, outbreak down of cells. And at the same time, uric acid could be due to exogenous causes but through ingestion of foods that contain purines. The foods that are rich in purines include anchovies, alayl, and sugar, a sardine. You find in here my fish, but it's dark fish. Sweet bread, the sweet bread اللي هو الحاجات الرعبة, the thymus على lymph nodes على pancreas, the kidney, the liver, meat extracts اللي طبعا ال hamburgers وال sausages. All these are associated with an increased risk of gout in both men and women, and that's why it's important to know the type of foods that could even precipitate a gouty attack. So how do our bodies get rid of the uric acid through excretion? Well, actually, uh, the kidneys are the major route of excretion. Uh, uric acid is excreted more than 75% of it through the kidneys. The 25%, uh, the other 25%, occurs through bacterial oxidation of urate secreted in the guts. Uh, this is the, extra, the main or principal extrarenal urate disposal. However, this uh, route is only resorted to when the serum urate levels rise more than 14 milligram per deciliter, yani it is not part of our normal routine uh, excretion route. So if we need to identify causes of hyperuricemia, uh, we can define it uh, due to increased uric acid production or uh, diminished uric acid excretion by the kidneys or both together. So if we need to classify hyperuricemia or gout, uh, according to the path uh, mechanism of pathogenesis, uh, they could be classified, our patients could be classified into uric acid overproducers, our uric acid under excretors. We usually, uh, we have primary and secondary causes. So when we look at a cause of, of an etiology of uric acid overproduction, uh, for primary factors, at first diamond uh, limitations, we find that it is idiopathic. Other causes are mainly enzymatic. Uh, most important enzymatic deficiency is the hypoxanthine guanine phosphoribazyl transferase deficiency. This deficiency is either complete, yani there is no enzyme, or it is partial, and yani we have some uh, enzyme, uh, some of the enzyme is present, but it's not enough to get rid of a whole uh, uh, uric acid. So what happens if there is complete reduction? We have, I will hear severe uh, hypoxanthine when in five phosphoribosite transferase deficiency. It's usually associated with spasticity. It develops uh, during, uh, in uh, early infantile years, uh, characterized by hyperuricemia and hyperuricemia and hyperuricuria. Uric acid is being excreted uh, excessively in the urine. Uh, we usually, uh, uric acid crystals are deposited in the central nervous system. The manifestations are mainly neurological in the form of spasticity, chorioaphytosis, involuntary movements, mental retardation, and compulsive self mutilation. And this deficiency is called Dijnihan syndrome. While the partial, defi while the partial defi deficiency uh, usually results, Masan and I was seen in families where there is uh, early development uh, and family history of uh, gout. Other enzymatic deficiencies like glucose set phosphatase deficiency, our fractose 1-phosphate aldolase deficiency are primary causes of uric acid overproduction. While for secondary causes, if we have to take overproduction, usually exogenous or endogenous, Fa first cause هي بقى الاكسوجينس كوز لو في اكسسيف دايتري بيورين انتيك اللي هي ممكن يحصل في العيد ولحمه حمراء كتير بتتاكل. ال other secondary causes هي هتبقى endogenous ان انا عندي high cellular turnover 
cells are being built rapidly and A cells are being destroyed rapidly. This could be seen in myeloproliferative and lymphoproliferative disorders. We can also see it in psoriasis, which is a skin, dis uh, a skin disorder, where the skin is the largest organ in our body because of its surface area. When at the beginning of a treatment, I will have severe psoriatic activity, maybe hyperuricemia. Paget's disease uh, is one of the metabolic disorders of bones. Uh, sclerotic lesions. Um, also at the beginning of uh, chemotherapy for solid tumors and there is tissue lysis, hyperuricemia could be seen. In hemolytic anemia, Taban for hemolytic crisis, where uh, when there's excessive exercise, but not talking about regular exercise in the gym. I'm talking about a day that you can do in 11 or 12 hours per day. Uh, enough in the of strenuous exercise to the point that the muscle bulk of our body is reduced, the purine release. Well, obesity also is one of the causes for high cellular turnover and uric acid overproduction. Another secondary cause is accelerated ATP degradation that could be seen with glycogen storage diseases or hereditary fructose intolerance. Or when there is hypoxemia, yani tissue ischemia, or tissue under perfusion. Okay, hey, a person, person that's having uh, acute ischemic, uh, acute ischemia. Uric, under excre uric acid under excretion, mainly through the kidney, so it will be the causes that are related to renal impairment. The primary cause, the first thing, is idiopathic, unknown. The secondary causes, it will be any thing that affects the kidney function. If you have renal impairment due to hypertension or diabetic nephropathy, uh, due to toxins, like lead, nef lead, uh, lead nephropathy, أو during starvation or dehydration ومش بتكلم رمضان أنا بتكلم حد باليومين ثلاثة مش بيأكل ولا بيشرب لدرجة إن the kidneys are impaired due to the dehydration أو هي uh, pre-renal involvement where uh, starvation is enough uh, so that the body enters into a catabolic state and the proteins are being destroyed. Uh, other by endocrine disorders they like hypothyroidism, hyperparathyroidism could be associated with uric acid under excretion. Uh, and there are certain drugs that affect the renal reabsorption of a, uh, of a uh, uric acid, uh, but impair it, they including the diuretics, mainly thiazide diuretics, cyclosporin A barto is another use, and uh, sorry, another drug, and ethanol abuse. And by ethanol abuse, I mean uh, alcohol intake. فاكرين احنا قلنا الميكانيزم could be due to overproduction او due to under excretion في certain causes that cause overproduction under excretion at the same time uh, and the most important is alcohol intake where especially beer uh, they promote hyper well beer يعني promotes hyperuricemia by increasing urate production uh, and decreasing uric acid excretion other bio causes for overproduction under excretion at the same time are other enzymatic deficiencies. The what are the gout risk factors? And Lena, there are certain comorbidities are associated with a higher incidence of gout, global metabolic syndrome, hypertension, diabetes, renal insufficiency, hypertriglyceridemia, hypercholesterolemia, obesity, and early menopause. So what happens uh, when there are uh, uric acid crystal deposited in the tissues, uh, the pathogenesis of gouty tissue manifestations? Uh, once the uh, uric acid crystal, uh, uric acid, they uh, be by increased, yes, and due to the hyperuricemia, and it's above the solubility level. But now, you did crystallize as monosodium urate salts in oversaturated tissues. Once in the it becomes uh, deposited. Uh, it stimulates an inflammatory action around the crystals. Liba. Uh, okay, the innate immunity here and then a circulating neutrophils. Dual amin zayl amn al markadi. Adatum kibir awi. They're surveilling the uh, environment. Lau lau ayya haga gariba. They they deposit around them. But they are the first cells to arrive uh, at the site where there are ure uh, where there are ure uh, urate crystals. Okay. Uh, once neutrophils arise, they start to release uh, inflammatory mediators, uh, cytokines, 
stay interleukin 1, interleukin 6, interleukin 8, and uh, after that, other inflammatory cells, they phagocytes arrive in order to excavate a means they may go no garar kibir, we shield the crystals that are deposited. Once all this happens, we have an attack of acute inflammation. What are the clinical manifestations of gout? It depends uh, on the site of the position. Okay? But if we have uh, the position in articular and periarticular sites, we have recurrent attacks of arthritis, what we call gouty arthritis. Uh, if there is accumulation, of articular osteous soft tissue of cartilaginous crystalline deposits, they are called to fine. Uh, if the uric acid uh, deposits in the urinary tracts uh, in the form of calculi, we have stones. Uh, if they are deposited in the renal parenchyma, we have interstitial nephropathy with renal impairment, uh, what's called gouty nephropathy. هنا بقى هنبتدي جاوتي اللي هي المحاضرة كأنها الجاوتي أرثرايتس uh, We have two types of gouty arthritis والحقيقة إن هما uh, the names are very uh, informative so it's very important to learn them We have the acute intermittent gout and we have the chronic tophaceous gout زي ما الاسم بيقول acute intermittent gout uh, بيبقى characterized by abrupt onset of severe joint inflammation so we find that the joints are swollen, red, hot, and exquisitely tender. Uh, this is foot. There is uh, redness around the first metatarsophalangeal joint. Well, redness is extending, uh, sorry, redness and swelling are extending over the dorsum of the foot. Then how it take away in differential diagnosis uh, when there is cutaneous erythema. We can think, and uh, this is, uh, there is cellulitis, and uh, we can think of septic arthritis. Usually, in inflammation, infection, uh, 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 severe pain be occurred during the night. Yani the patient goes to sleep, wakes up after four hours with severe pain. That's what we call nocturnal pain. And uh, pain reach maximum intensity in eight to 12 hours. Uh, when the attack is untreated, usually they resolve in three to 10 days. And in 90% of the cases, the first attacks are monoarticular, that is to say, occur in one joint. Oligoarticular, hey, I mean two to four joint, and the polyarticular are involvement of more than five joints. You have acute gouty arthritis and acute intermittent gout. 90% of first attacks are monoarticular, and we find, uh, and we find that 50% uh, of the involvement is uh, involvement of inflammation of the first metatarsophalangeal joint, what is called podagra. Okay? Uh, podagra, when we think of, is not synonymous with gout. Yani, not just the disease that we do. No, the inflammation of the first metatarsophalangeal joint. Podagra can be observed in patients with pseudogout, uh, sarcoidosis, gonococcal arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, and reactive arthritis, and zero negative arthritis, Other joints that are commonly involved in acute intermittent gout are midfoot, ankles, heels, and knees. And the gout we have the Sometimes with the acute gouty attack, we might find systemic symptoms such as fever, chills and malaise. The natural course of untreated acute attacks, yani e natural course, yani law the disease it's a man gira leg, biyah sali, and lay in a homa, they are self limited attacks. Fa, the attacks vary from episodes of mild pain that resolve in several hours, and usually they are called putti attacks, to severe attacks that last from one to two weeks. Early in the disease, the joints return to normal between the attacks, and the attacks may be infrequent. With this period between attacks is called uh, intercritical period. Over time, the attacks increase in frequency. They have longer durations and involve more than one joint. Okay. 
احنا اتفقنا ان 90% of the cases الacute gout attack او الacute intermittent gout بيبقى مونو articular او oligo articular بس in 10% of the cases gout can initially present as a polyarticular arthritis and usually it is seen in elderly women particularly women with renal insufficiency and if they are taking a thyroid diuretic قلت ان هو بينترفير وذ الرينال اكسكريشن يعني بيحصل ري ابزوربشن في الديستال لوبس بتاعت الكيدنيز فبيحصل ري ابزوربشن اوف ذا يوريك اسيد ذيس بيشنتس اوفن ديفلوب بولي ارتيكولار ارثرايتس از ذير فيرست مانيفستيشن اوف جاوت وين ذي ار عشان بيكوز ذي ار الدرلي ويمن فذيس اتاكس مي اوكر اون كو اكزيستينج هيبردن اند بوشار نودز Well, Hebert and well, Bouchard notes dual are characteristic of osteoarthritis on the hand. Uh, these patients, pardon me, also develop to fine more quickly and occasionally without prior episodes of acute gout arthritis. Yani ke inno, uh, acute gout uh, arthritis but develop the polyarticular wem I had to fine. Okay? Niki ba alkalim, ili yihsal, li li bihsal li precipitation of acute attack uh, or attacks. Acute flares of gout can occur in situations that, it, that lead to increased levels of serum uric acid, etiology of hyperuricemia, such as the use of alcohol, or overindulgence of certain foods. And in the gout is the alcohol for Christmas, overindulgence of certain foods, وعلى فكرة الجاوت is called داء الملوك بالعربي. Uh, برضو other uh, acute flares may be precipitated with trauma وبتكلم على uh, fractured bones و multiple fractured bones. Okay? Uh, hemorrhage, uh, rapid weight loss اللي هي بالcrash diet أو uh, dehydration and the use of certain medications that elevate levels of uric acid. إحنا اتفقنا thyroid diuretics are one of them. Low dose aspirin وهشرحها بعدين. والالوبيرينول مع إنه treatment of hyperuricemia بس برضو هشرح لكم ليه أو إزاي يقدر يعمل precipitation of acute attacks أو urocosorics اللي هي برضو used in treatment of hyperuricemia. نيجي بقى لل second type of gouty arthritis اللي هي chronic to facious gout that usually develops after 10 years or more of acute intermittent gout. طبعا if left untreated. They involve joints become persistently uncomfortable and swollen. يعني عندي دائما baseline of arthritis, chronic. But still we do get gouty attacks continue to occur against a painful background. كلمة chronic to facious gout معناها نانا we have to fight. اللي هو اتفقنا uric acid crystals deposited in soft tissues. Uh, to fire collections of uric acid crystals uh, that are deposited in soft tissues. It occurs in more than half of untreated cases. Usually, iltofai dul, a classic location of the position over the helix of the ear. And lay in a dandy swelling that is red, then inflamed. We have other swellings that do not look in, that are yellowish, get a hoat. We usually be firm and consistency, okay? Uh, but the tofai bardu can also be found. Over the fingers, uh, toes, olecranon, bursi, uh, uh, and along with the olecranon, where they can resemble rheumatoid arthritis. Well, this is a tophaceous deposition over the lateral malleolus. Eventually, patients may develop a polyarticular arthritis and sometimes even nearly, nearly symmetrical. So, how it could resemble rheumatoid arthritis with lachbatna. Uh, yet, our hands. Of a patient with chronic tophaceous gout, the uh, swelling see it in a hawa tetla iha naha effusions, where a dual bib of him in whom lehayel tophai. Hara fa farra ben hum is they, the effusions bib u cystic bib a fihel fluctuation test positive, while the tophai bib u firm calcifications, okay? A firm, sorry, uh, Chris, uh, uh, aggregated crystals maabat, okay? Na crystal, okay? Naha. حاجة calcified, okay, أو firm. زي الرجلين بالظبط اللي أنا وريتها بيبقى الانفولمنت bilateral بس مش لازم يبقى exactly symmetrical وممكن يبقى عندي extension of the swelling للدورسم of the palm 
او الدورسم سوري اوف ذا هاند وذ ريدنس وهوتنس وقلت لكم ساعتها بقى ممكن نفكر آه على فكره كتير قوي ممكن يوريك اسيد ممكن آه سوري اللي هي بيشنت وذ اوت يحصل سكندري انفكشن ويحصل عندي اسيبتيك آه ارثرايتس فدايما نبقى عندنا ديجري اوف فيجيلانس واحنا بنشوف بندايجنوز ذا بيشنتس While gout typically causes only inflammation in the joints, but it also could cause inflammation in uh, the periarticular structures, the synovial base structures such as the bursi or tendons. فهم بس هنا هو. This is an uh, the forearm, the arm, the what the forearm, and this is the elbow joint. ودي عندي هنا هو a bursa. ممكن تبع a bursitis, or a cranial bursitis, أو ممكن يبقى فيها a tophi, we prefer more clusters of Uh, uh, solid uh, masses. What are the two high risk factors? The most probably long duration of hyperuricemia, uh, serum urate level higher, uh, and long periods of active untreated gout. The chronic uh, gout. So we find that chronic gout is characterized by chronic arthritis to find it develop and still uh, acute flares continue. And very characteristic, we have the X-ray changes. If we talked about the etiology, we talked about pathogenesis, we talked about clinical findings, our clinical presentation, and we can talk about the right to the diagnosis. Our first thing, laboratory investigations. Do you think it's the most important thing? If someone thinks about hyperuricemia, I will tell you that hyperuricemia is best elevation of serum uric acid. And مش كل الهايبيريسيميا associated with a with gout with gouty attacks. لكن the best laboratory investigation is in an amyl synovial fluid analysis. We aspirate the involved joint عشان نشوف the crystals themselves. It's importantly, well, and it is an attempt to confirm عشان أفرع بين the crystals. Are they monosodium urate monohydrate crystals characteristic of gout? ولا are they the calcium pyrophosphate? Uh, crystals characteristic of pseudo gout. Well, haga tanya to rule out infection. Then, if we were to say, for example, acute monoarthritis, then we can say that we have septic arthritis. Okay. And of course, the management is totally different. The critical and essential study is synovial fluid analysis to identify urate crystals. Finding of intracellular urate crystals by polarizing light microscopy firmly establishes a positive diagnosis of gouty arthritis. Uh, under polarized microscopy, the urate crystals are yellow when lighting is aligned parallel to the axis of the red compensate. Well, blue low across the direction of polarization. Uh, okay, we usually they are needles or toothpicks. Okay, uh, pseudo gout, rods. Were be blue when aligned parallel to the axis of the compensate. I'm gonna handle by serum uric acid when the early that we diagnose. Here, you know, this is the most misused test in the diagnosis of gout. Then we have normal people. Five to eight percent of the population have normal levels more than seven milligram. We're only five to twenty percent of patients with hyperuricemia develop gout. Thus, the presence of an elevated level of serum uric acid does not mean the patient has gout or will develop gout. Of course, we are also concerned about the very early disease. So, I told you that when it reaches the high level in the serum, it will crystallize with deposit. It means that sometimes in very early disease, when we see serum uric acid, it can be normal. Does not. Does not. يعني ما تنفيش الدايجنوزس، اوكي؟ فسيرم يوريك اسيد ما هواش اهم حاجه. احنا قعدنا نعمل في الايتيولوجي او مهم قوي نشرح في الايتيولوجي ان احنا عندنا اوفر برودكشن او اندر اكسكيشن، يبقى معنى كده ان انا محتاجه اتست لابوراتري انفستيجيشن افرق بين الاثنين. تفتكروا هي ايه؟ لو قلنا يورن طب انا العيان هيديني كميه يورن من عيان لعيان هتفرق. لكن لو انا رحت خدت كل اليورن بتاع العيان اوفر 24 hour Uh, 24 hours uh, urine sample. What I show at the EV here uric acid excretion. Now we see that more than 800 milligrams. My nah and the kidney diet is completely normal, and uh, it is excreting as much as it could. But this patient is an overproducer. 
if it's less than 800 milligrams uh, over the 24 hours, Manaha in the kidneys are unable to excrete a manaka that this person is an under excretor who may take a good euro good zurex. What are the radiographic features? Ba'a we live in the on plain x ray. The most common radiographic findings early in the disease is uh, soft tissue swelling, uh, or hata even a normal radiograph. Like we said, in between attacks, a few symptoms are completely normal. Map sorry, the uh, symptoms are gone. Will uh, joint examination completely normal as well as the radiographic features. As the disease becomes chronic, you put it behind the X-ray findings. The gouty erosions that are punched out erosions. The homa means the atma. Well, in the attempt, I have the hit as yet. The overhanging edges. Okay. Early the joint space usually be preserved until very late, but after a while you did yes that osteoarthritic changes with joint space you did you an arrow where you have anti osteophytes where it deformities would develop a time and anti widening of the uh, uh, first uh, metatarsal head where you did yes and anti deformities they hallux valx. This is an x ray of the hand, and we have the punched erosions. Well, the, this is an X-ray of the hand while he had to find. So what's the differential diagnosis? We said that we are doing something and we are doing something. The most important thing is pseudo-gout. We said that the second thing is called quadrocalcinosis or CPPD. We have psoriatic arthritis because it also affects the feet. We have osteoarthritis. لأنها هلا وعندي اللي هي الهبرد سوري لو عندي اللي هي التوفاي تفصل على الفينجرز ممكن تتلخبط في الهبرد النوز روماتويد ارترايتس لو في عندي سيمتريكال انفولفمنت اوف الجوينتس اوف الهاندز طبعا سبتك ارترايتس كان البرزنتيشن في الموبيمونو ارترايتس وسويلنج وسيلولايتس لو الانفلاميشن اكستندنج بيوند الاي مارجنز اوف ذا جوينت سو وات از ذا تريتمنت اوف هايبر يوريسيميا لو تفتكروا انا قلت هايبر يوريسيميا is not uh, 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 usually asymptomatic, discovered accidentally on uh, um, uh, during investigations or laboratory investigations. Type. And I like all I need and don't hyperuricemia. Well, la la. Hey, and I know in a half what will la. Which I like all in this. But in the study, I'm in the hour. If I got a medal, I got a medal a level of a hyperuricemia. Amen. وأول حاجة في التريتمنت إن أنا I need to search for the cause عشان I need to treat the cause ساعتها ال hyperuricemia هتبقى managed والتريتمنت بقى ال hyperuricemia according to the serum uric acid level لو كان أقل من 9 milligram per deciliter milligram per deciliter I would not start by medical treatment or I would not give the patient drugs but I tell them in Ahoma they need to lose weight, they need to control their uh, diet, they need to do more exercise, they need to drink plenty of fluids. We're under medical supervision in the sense of and uh, they are doing regular follow-up of their serum uric acid. Uh, if it is decreasing, then we maintain a treatment plan with that. If it is not decreasing, our uh, serum uric acid level is more than nine milligram per deciliter. Uh, Patients should be treated with the lowest allopurinol dose, keeping ser serum uric acid within normal, the whole normal range, only 5 to 7 milligram per deciliter for males, and from 3.5 to 6 milligram per deciliter for females. Will far and the setet are smaller. The frame of the man is bigger. They have more muscle bulk, and they have a muscle a bone hat weight is higher. Okay. Patients with levels of more than 11 milligram per deciliter, and they are uh, and they and they have over excretion of uric acid, are at risk for renal stones and renal impairment. So therefore, we should always do renal function uh, monitoring uh, in these individuals while giving the treatment. That nigi ba le treatment, I see normal treatment of gouty arthritis. Daiman wehna benailek, ehna we have goals, okay, in our minds. طيب تفتكروا ايه الثلاثة جولز in the management؟ احنا قلنا احنا عندنا acute attacks يبقى غالبا اول جول is اعالج the acute attack. 
وبعدين قلنا ان احنا في حاجات فاكتورز ذات بريسيبيتيت اكيوت اتاكس يبقى معنى كده اي نيد تو بريفنت اكيوت اتاكس وقلنا اخر حاجه ان الهايبر يوريسيميا هي المشكله يبقى معنى كده ان احنا نعمل تريتمنت اوف او لوورينج اوف ذا اكسس تورز اوف يوريك اسيد تو بريفنت لايرز اوف جاوتي ارثرايتس اند تو بريفنت ذا تيشو ديبوزيشن اوف يوريك كريستلز او يوريك كريستلز اول حاجه باي لايف ستايل تشينجز The patient has to drink plenty of fluids. The patient has to lo uh, lose weight, like can always uh, improve his diet, like can million on a rich in purines. We know the foods that cause hyperuricemia. With that, what they need to exercise, or like can he take medication or not? The first thing is the management of acute gout. The fact is the management of acute gout. Uh, أول حاجة بتنط في مخنا اسكولشيسين مش كده؟ كولشيسين ده أشهر دواء مع ديزيز. فعلا ذيس از ون اوف البوسيبيلتيز في الأكيوت جاوت. بس اكشولي دلوقتي البست ابروتش تو ا بيشنت ان ان اكيوت اتاك از باي ذا يوز اوف نون ستيرويدال انتي انفلاماتري دراجز. انذر اوبشن از كورتيكو ستيرويد. طيب أنا هختار للعيان بتاعي ازاي؟ زي ما انا بقول هختار للعيان بتاعي ازاي؟ ال choice usually depends on the patient's condition. Depends on the other comorbidities of the patient. Okay? أول حاجة هنقول لل patient plenty of fluids. We have options for treatment of acute gout that include non-steroidal, corticosteroids, or colchicine. وقلنا colchicine is a classic treatment but now rarely indicated for treatment or management of acute gout. لكن ليه مكان هنقوله كمان شوية اللي هو في المانجمنت اوف اكيوت فلارز اوكي التشويس از بيست برايمرلي اون ذا بيشنتس اذر هيلث بروبلمز سوتش از رينال انسفشنسي لان ساعتها النون ستيرويدال هايبوكونترا انديكيتد والكونشيسين بالجرعة اللي بستعملها في الاكيوت اتاك ما اقدرش اديها لاني لازم وات يل دوز لو في حيا عنده رينال انسفشنسي ساعتها ما بقدرش استعمل الكورتيكوستيرويدز لو عيان عنده بابتيك السر ديزيز لا هقدر استعمل نون ستيرويدز ولا هقدر استعمل كورتيكوستيرويدز بس هقد... بس هنقول كمان شويه ايه اللي ممكن نستعمله. النون ستيرويدز ناو ار ذا فيرست تشويس تو تريت اكيوت جاوت ان موست اوف ذا بيشنتس ويز اوت اندر لاينج هيلث بروبلمز الكونترا انديكيشنز بتاعته ار رينال ديزيز بابتيك السر ديزيز جسترو انتستاينال بليدنج اسبرين انديوست ازما Uh, برضو آه والازاثاي او سوري والاسبرين ستايل سلسلك اسيد تريتد كرونري ارتري ديزيز ان كونجستيف هارت فيلير يوجوالي لما بستعمل نون ستيرويدز they are initiated at the maximum dose over 2 to 3 days and usually the dose is lowered is lowered as symptoms abate endomethacin is the traditional choice unless the patient is elderly لانه هو side effects be increased more in elderly patients وبنخاف من رينال نفروباثي. سوري ان اندو نون ستيرويدال نفروباثي. اسبرين از نوت يوزد ان اكيوت جاوت. فاكرين لما قلت لكم ان هو ممكن يبقى ون اوف اللو دوز اسبرين بيبقى يعمل لي هايبريوريسيميا لان الاسبرين هاز ا بارادوكسيكال افكت اون سيرم يوريت. يوجوالي الرينال يوجوالي اوكي في اللو دوزز اللي هي لس ذان تو Out uh, from two, from less than two to three grams per day, usually there is uric acid retention. Like in lama bakhud, more doses more than three grams per day. Be uh, we have a urocuzuria at higher doses. Three grams, we have almost a ribbon of aspirin, the big one, be about almost five hundred milligrams. Yani la yen hai akhud six do six tablets. So usually, the preferred other non steroids with a less tablets be about preferred. Management of acute gout and corticosteroids are a second option. A corticosteroids there uh, can be given to patients who cannot use non-steroidals or colchicine. Uh, the advantage of steroids is that they could be given orally, they could be given intravenously, intramuscularly, or the best choice, for example, intraarticularly in a patient with an active peptic ulcer or bleeding peptic ulcer. Okay, or it could be given indirectly by, uh, via the adrenocorticotrophic hormone, the whole ACTH, that uh, induces el, uh, endogenous, production, uh, endogenous uh, production of uh, steroids. Ilcolchicine is the classic medication of gout, but it is not preferred medication for the treatment of acute gouty attacks. Uh, Liba, 
Lana, it has a window of being effective. It's most effective during the first 12 to 24 hours. فاكرين لما قلنا مين أول سيل بيوصل؟ It's the neutrophil. الكولشيسين المين إفكت بتاعه is suppression of the neutrophilic activity أو neutrophil attraction اللي هي والكيموتاكتيك فاكتورز of it. فعشان كده هو الكولشيسين most effective is most effective during the first 12 to 24 hours of an attack but its effectiveness declines with the duration of inflammation. Moreover, when used to treat an acute attack, colchicine causes adverse gastrointestinal effects, particularly diarrhea and vomiting, in up to 80% of the patients. Liba, it's given orally. Uh, 0.5 or 0.6 milligrams has to be the or side, the or side must be 0.6 milligrams, the ERAS must be 0.5 milligrams. Then it will be ERAS every two hours until either the attack is resolved and the patient has received relief, or the patient starts developing gastrointestinal effects. And then it will be the first time that the patient will get diarrhea or starts vomiting, which is not an optimum way of giving treatment. Or the patient takes six milligrams, which is about ten tablets. Well, side how we sign to the toxic level, but there's a delay in after that. And we have to keep in mind that the total dose and the frequency you need and the frequency need to be reduced in patients with renal or hepatic insufficiency. And colchicine generally is not recommended in these situ in these situations. Okay, type. احنا قلنا ان الكرونيك جاوتي ارثرايتس بيبقى عندنا بيز لاين اوف ارثرايتس بس برضه وي ستيل هاف ريكورينج اتاكس اوف اكيوت جاوتي اتاكس طب يا ترى التريتمنت اوف اكيوت اتاكس بتفرق في الاكيوت جاوتي او اكيوت انتوميتنت جاوت عن الكرونيك توفيشس جاوت الحقيقه does not differ substantially in patients with or without to fight Although the presence of TOFI is an indication for the initiation of long-term urate-lowering therapy after the attack uh, subsides, or there is resolution of the attack to prevent or reverse chronic gouty arthropathy. Chronic, okay, lay radiological changes with it. Therapy to control the underlying hyperuricemia is generally contraindicated until the acute attack is controlled, one to two weeks after an acute attack subsides which means in the urate lowering therapy are of no benefit for acute gout and therefore I should not uh, initiate it during an acute attack. But if the patient is already receiving these agents, the urate lowering medication should be continued without interruption. Fakreen lam ulna colchicine, it's a classic, it's the classic therapy, but it's not used during the acute attack. But li makan muhim? Il makan al muhim betao for prophylaxis to prevent acute flares. Well, the standard dose of prophylaxis uh, is 0.6 milligram, yeah, and one tablet, BID, uh, twice per day. Well, in patients with renal insufficiency, this dose may be decreased to daily and had to every other day administration. The prophylactic dose of colchicine induces adverse gastrointestinal effects in only 4% of the patients, as opposed to 80% uh, bil acute uh, regimen. Lowering uric acid with either allopurinol or probenecid can precipitate attacks of gout. لأنه هو عشان to reduce the serum uric acid بيأخدها من stores فينزل جوا السيرم فهي بعندي hyperuricemia. فكرين لما كنا قلت لكم دول كلهم are urate lowering agents مع ذلك they are causes of hyperuricemia at times. فعشان كده هو لما هبتدي the treatment with the urate lowering agent. I should use uh, colchicine prophylactically. Well, uh, colchicine, when used prophylactically in the initiation of treatment with urate lowering agents, uh, it can reduce such flares by 85%. Yeah, but colchicine in Howard has a very important a role in prophylaxis of acute flares and in the initiation of a therapy with rate lowering agents. Treating patients with colchicine alone may help prevent flares of inflammatory arthritis, but it does not prevent the accumulation of uric acid in joints. Fakrina lehay al punched out erosion diabara accumulation of uric acid crystals am inza ikora lama toa with dupe deceive makanha this radiographic finding. Were after a while on the joint. Yes, salo. 
deformity. Well, long-term use of colchicine can lead to a drug-induced neuromyopathy with elevated CPK, particularly in patients with renal insufficiency. familial Mediterranean fever. ومع ذلك ما بنتضايقش هقول لكم ان في حاجه اسمها ريسك بينيفيت ان في الفاميليا ميديترين فيفر انا بستعمله مينلي عشان تو بريفنت الامايلويدوزز اللي بتحصل في الكدنيز اي ام بريفنتنج الكدني فيلير فعشان كده هو البينيفيت اوت ويز ذا ريسك تريتمنت اوف كرونيك اوت لونج تيرم مانجمنت اوف اوت از فوكسد اون ذا لوورينج اليوريك اسيد ليفلز Usually, the agents used include urate lowering agents or urocosuric agents, and here it induces a uh, diuresis, or we induce renal clearance of the uric acid. Urate lowering agents, and lay in the goal of therapy is to lower serum uric acid levels to approximately five to six milligrams per deciliter. أقل for for males كمان أقل من the normal range. خمسة لو العيان عنده توفي ستة لو كان العيان ما عندهش توفي. Agents of choice for the urate overproduction is allopurinol, which is a xanthine oxidase inhibitor with our first line uh, for urate overproduction. Well, can I handle hyperuricemia over 9 milligrams per deciliter? Will I handle endotophus formation? Okay. Albert, uh, can if there is a contraindication to the use of urocosuric drugs? Toxicity can be avoided if therapy is initiated at 300 milligrams per day. We usually have an orsmeia or stoltomeia. Well, uh, we do regular fill our colis at the beginning of treatment. When I have a regular weekly check of serum urate levels, uh, an increase of dosage of 100 milligrams according to the level. Uh, and we have to tell the patient that alcohol can interfere with the effectiveness of allopurinol, that they have to cut the alcohol intake. Uh, the most common uh, side effect of uh, allopurinol is dyspepsia, headache, diarrhea, or pleuritic maculopapular rash. But it's important to know, and we have a less frequent side effect that occurs in less than 1% of the cases, uh, is the allopurinol hypersensitivity, which is a very dangerous disease, and it has a high mortality rate of 20 to 30%. Another drug that has been recently introduced, which is also a xanthine oxidase inhibitor, the foboxostat, uh, it is a potential alternative to allopurinol, uh, but like allopurinol, uh, it prevents uric acid uh, production, fashion cave stomach for overproduction, filainin, lambda, hatofi, or contraindication to the use of allopurinol or urocosuric drugs. It also be barbine or tamanin. Usually, we start at a lower dose, but increase gradually, 40 or 80 milligrams once daily. The we get to our target serum uric acid, and then we get to the dose for maintenance to maintain the target serum uric acid around 5 or 6 milligrams, as a case. The uh, common adverse uh, side effects of uh, Foboxostat is nausea, arthralgia, diarrhea, headache, rash, and liver function abnormalities. Iliuric cosuric agents are used for patients that have uh, uh, under excretion of uric acid, we know that we have 24 hour urine, uh, uric acid urine excretion. Uh, it depends on the kidney, so it will be increased uric acid. So I have certain precautions in mind. This, these patients must have a good kidney function, which is the glomerular filtration rate, more than 60 milliliters per minute. No history of nephrolithiasis, I have kidney stones. And there's no concomitant that doesn't move. I don't want to change the no-concomitant salicylates that oppose the function of these drugs, were preferably for age less than 65 years. Uh, okay, we're going to have 24 hours. If we have more than 800 milligrams, we need to use the urocosuric. If we have more than 800 milligrams of 24-hour urine, you read excretion, but still, or in the presence of topide, and still, and purine. In urocosuric agents, we have a probenicid, the lohuasmo probenid, 500 milligrams twice, uh, sorry, twice daily, gradually increased. Actually, probenicid will sulfur and pyrazone have been uh, prohibited. Maybe you saw the only one that we use is the benzobromerone. But you should also know that it has hepatic side effects. And there are some tablets with a combination with allopurinol. 
The latest is the lisinurad. It's a selective uric acid reabsorption inhibitor. Who asked drug can be stuffed them from hypertension, but la uh, be what you see in uric acid. But it must be administered with 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 a xanthine oxidase inhibitor. And we should uh, assess renal function regularly before initiating therapy and periodically thereafter. Uricase, uh, actually, okay. مش كل الحيوانات عندها this uric acid problem زي البني أدمين لأنه هم مثلا birds and reptiles they have this uricase enzyme uh, uricase enzyme they cancer the uric acid so they never have hyperuricemia فقال okay يبقى احنا نجرب البني أدمين نديهم this uricase enzyme uh, ف تدوي عم يدو uricase which is a non-recombinant uric oxidase to catabolize urate to ln -toin. Currently, okay, currently approved for hyperuricemia, best, best for certain conditions, the label tumor lysis syndrome that is induced by chemotherapy in patients with malignancy. Now, in selected patients, they either are refractory uh, to the regular gout uh, treatment, to the allopurinol alpha-boxostat, or they develop the severe uh, allopurinol uh, hypersensitivity reaction, okay? However, uricase has a problem and I hope you are given intravenously in the hospital. Well, I know it's uh, human, so therefore, it's a lot of antibodies and it loses its effect with those who can get it. So I like that, okay, how can we decrease this antigenicity? So, uh, by introducing the big piglotikase. The piglotikase is a polyethylene glycol conjugated uricase, can you get it? Also, it enzymatically catal catalyzes the oxidation of uric acid to elantoin. It's a biologic agent in who are targeted. It's given intravenous. Uh, and it's also considered the yani, best FDA approval betao. If there's allopurinol, fibroxostat, or urocosuric agent, the proper introduction of uric acid, in the home, uh, cases, uh, treatment, uh, or to uh, feltrimal lysis uh, syndrome. فاكرين أول ما ابتدينا كلمنا عن جاوتي أرفايتس بيحصل آه... سوري مش جاوتي أرفايتس اللي هي الكريستال إنجوست أرثروبيتس جاوت وسودو جاوت سودو جاوت شبيه بالجاوت بس الانفلاميشن is caused by calcium pyrophosphate crystal deposition there's a genetic predisposition that exists ده مش موجود في كل العيانين uh, but usually many but however many cases of سودو جاوت are idiopathic uh, it has also been associated with aging, our trauma, our disease joint, okay? Uh, most common of uh, which are Mukembardo endocrine disorders, malhydrosis. The joints are different. I'll be presenting the acute monoarticular arthritis, but here we have the joint. We have the glenohumeral joint of the joint, we have the knees, and we have the wrists. The onset of symptoms is usually more insidious, may occur over several days. More insidious, and it may be as abrupt or as acute as an A gouty attacks. Will acute attacks of pseudo gout usually resolve within 10 days? Okay, and an attack is a little bit longer. Prognosis for resolutions of acute attacks, but the patent pseudo gout is excellent. Some patients experience progressive joint damage with uh, functional limitation. This is a knee joint. Uh, this is the femoral condyle. This is the tibial plateau. When as I mentioned, there is a rim of calcification for an E. Sorry, are you? Well, the screen is not visible. It's just a little bit. So we don't see the screen. Okay, so I don't know what happened. Is it going to be over? لا هو من غالبا هو غالبا وقت ما خلص واحنا سامعين حضرتك كويس بس السكرين اختفت بقالها شويه سوري طب ما انا اسفه كويس انك قلتي اهو سوري طب ما قلتوش ليه <تصفيق> اوكي كده شايفينها اه يا دكتور هي كده يعني تمام كده تمام اوكي سوري أه فدوت ذس از بقى السودو جاوت انا اسفه جدا the pseudo gout, I'll tell you, this is the femoral condyle, this is the tibial plateau, and we see here and the calcification of the menisci, which is chondrocalcinosis. 
يعني calcification of cartilage عشان كده الاسم الثاني بتاع pseudo gout احنا اتفقنا chondrocalcinosis او CPPD disease اوكي okay. ده نفس السو... ده برضو is a knee joint دوت الفيمر ديت التيبيا this is the tibial plateau and هنا هو في calcification of the menisci احنا اتفقنا ان هو برضو in the wrist هنا هو اللي هي triangular ligament وعندي فيها calcification in the wrist this is pseudo gout Well, treatment is basically برضو نفس الحكاية either not steroids, colchicine, or corticosteroids. And thank you. I am so sorry in the محاضرة ما كانش بين ما كانش بين ال ال screen. ومرسيل اللي قالت لي حد يحب عنده سؤال يفتح المايك بتاعه. مرسيه دكتور شكرا جدا. لا مش محتاجين حاجة دكتور أنا عندي سؤال دكتور بيز. دلوقتي أوكي هو هو المفروض إن من الحاجات اللي بت بت بتساعد أن يحصل جاوت إن أنا لو العين دخل مني دي هيدريشن أو لو خد دايرتكس تمام طيب هو اللي هو أنا لو اديته دايرتكس هو أنا مش كده بساعد إن أنا بزود الجي اف ار للكدني وبثرو اليوريك اسيد بره الجسم ولا يعني حاسه ان الاثنين عكس بعض اوكي okay. لو تفتكري انا قلت لك دايوريتكس مينلي ثايزايد دايوريتكس فاف يو نيد تو دو ذات دو نوت دايوريتكس لا تاني كده يا دكتور معلش اوكي okay. uh, انا قلت لك الدايوريتكس انا ميكانيزم دايوريتكس بريسيبيتيشن مش فاهماها لا مش كل الدايوريتكس مين لي ثايزايد دايوريتكس هم اللي بيانترفير بالري ابزورب السيرم اليوريك اسيد تاني ما يخليهوش يبقى اكسكريتد فما تستعمليش ثايزايد دايوريتك لو حد عنده دي هايدريشن وهايبر يوريسيميا هتزودي او جاوتي ارثرايتس هتزودي الجاوتي اتاك تمام يعني الفكره بس هي بتاع اليوريك اسيد بالظبط والحاجه الثانيه ان انت يو نيد لا اه انت اللي كنت بتقولي جلومير فلتريشن از لما بستعمل اليوروكوزوريك دراجز هي دي الجلومير فلتريشن ريت لازم تبقى مور ذان 60 ان الكدني تبقى فانكشننج uh, ويل well عشان تعرف تقدر تستحمل الدراج اللي بيقول لها بليز نزلي اليوريك اسيد ذات از ان اكسس اوكي اوكي يا دكتور اوكي حتى طلب مني المحاضره بس uh, مش عارفه بعته واي uh, I upload it here now, or let me tell you how to do it. Okay, had the had it is so L. Why allopurinol flare up the attack? Okay, and I'm going to tell you allopurinol that what? How are you rate lowering agent? عشان يشتغل هو بيجيب التوفاي او بيجيب اللي هي الديبوزيتد يوريك اسيد ان ذا تيشوز عشان يتخلص منه فبينزله جوه السيرم ف... وهو جوه السيرم ممكن يريكريستلايز ويبريسيبيتيت اجين فيعمل لي ان اكيوت اتاك فعشان كده هو بستعمل الكالشيسين معاه لان الكالشيسين بي... بيشتغل مينلي على السيرم يوريك اسيد مش بيشتغل على uh, اللي هي التوفاي اللي موجوده The PowerPoint, and I already I sent it to someone last group. If someone wants to help me, please just send me your email or something. I'll be able to put it to you. Apparently, the session is over. Thank you, Doctor. You're most welcome. Bye.